Hello everyone, my name is Anton and in this video I want to talk about Crafts Objects Beta. It's a new feature that they're bringing to the application and it's only available right now on desktop. And if I come in here and just show you on the left hand pane here, we can see that the, you have the usual things or items here on the side there, but you now in this beta if you have it you have this object section which is um, a bit different than what you would get with folders you will see what they're trying to do here is something similar to what uh, notion has on their pages and also capacities and then obsidian has a properties feature where again you can create these uh, documents which is basically what these are documents with fields or properties that you can add to them and you can set them up in a way to where they're object based so when you go into this particular section here like i have here for books and i do new it will adopt any of the fields that i predefined for these particular objects so the original, the, the initial implementation here that they have right now before it's out of beta is pretty good. The, let's take a walk through some of the, the things you can do here. So I can come in here and I can set up a new object and you pretty much can come in here and you can put the name of the object. You can select different fields. You give your field a name and then you have different types of fields where you can either make that field type a text, a number, a checkbox, a date, a URL, a single select, a multi-select, an attachment. You can set it up so you can assign a user. And then you can also reference other objects that you've set up. So if we come in here and we take a look at, say, the, um, the books objects here, let's go into the configure these objects. We can see that the fields that I have in here are author and then status. So if I come into author, we can see that the type of field this is, is a, a linked relation. And it's a relationship to the people's object here. So you can come in here and select uh, different objects that you've created as far as setting up the relations. And then I can come in here and I can enable it to where I can select multiple people or just a single. Right now I have it set up for just a single. And then you can also delete it. If we come into the uh, status here, so I have a status field set up here and it's set up as a single select. And then I have some predefined values for this particular field. So reading, read, and not read. Um, the, you can set up a default value if you want so that every time you create an object, it'll automatically get the initial value that you set up here. So this is pretty simple. One of the fields that you'll notice that is missing or field types that are missing is the functions. So if you're thinking that this is going to replace Notion databases, I would uh, tell you that that's not going to be the case. And it doesn't look like that's where craft is going with their objects within this application. They're not trying to replace the database feature like you have in Notion, uh, which is very robust and having the formulas that you can typically do over in Notion in their database, I think is above and beyond what uh, craft is trying to do. They may come out with maybe a, you know, a simple type formula where you can do simple mathematics and calculations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and divide. But right now I haven't heard anything as far as them trying to bring formulas and functions to their particular field types that they'll have here in craft. So if we come out of here and go into the actual objects area here we can see that up above we have different things that you can do with these objects which somewhat differentiates what you can do from a folder standpoint so if you're going to leverage objects you don't have to worry about what folder they're going into because they're always kind of come into this object area or you can call the objects 
section here a folder itself but this is where it will store all of the objects of this particular type and then you have all your other type of objects that will be placed in those other areas now we can come in here and if you want to sort do grouping and filtering this is uh, really really nice for kind of breaking things up and viewing things in a different way so if I want to come in here and I want to sort say by let me see if I have anything different here let's just do status and if I want to sort this by status I can see which ones are reading which ones have been read and not read in here and you can also come in here and you can filter out any from based on the title the author or the status now what I have noticed on the different grouping and filtering options here is that you do not get the default uh, type of properties that would be on a document or a page so you if you're looking to be able to filter out things say past that are 30 days old or that have been updated in the last seven days or things like that it you do not have that option here unless you create a field and then you put in those manually so I do wish that craft would enable it so that you can see the default properties on here like when the this object was created when it was last updated and and those type of default ones that you typically get when you create a document down here in the in the old way another thing that is kind of missing out of this as well is the ability to have different views on here so if you're looking for say a gallery view a card view or even a calendar view and things like that you don't have that right now out of the box you only get the this plain view here which is basically a list it's not even a table type view so it's just a list of the objects and then you get the properties here on the side you can edit these from here uh, directly you don't have to open it up and then change it so having different views I think would really enhance this particular feature here so it's really limited to this point um, in my opinion just because you don't get the different views that would help kind of make this a little bit better especially for projects so if you have any projects or tasks that you're doing you would want to switch that over into a calendar view which may just be a monthly calendar or a weekly calendar or a day type of view or something like that there and you don't really have that option so yeah we'll we'll see what happens in the future but right now you do not have that what they have done though is they provided some objects beta templates that they have down here at the bottom so you can come in here and click on one of these templates to get you started so you can kind of see what you can and cannot do with the uh, the objects so like for project management if we come in here and click on here I can click use this template so it goes in and what it did was create a projects object and then also a task object and in here you see a couple projects it automatically put in and kind of filled those out and then in the task it created a bunch of tasks here and um, filled those in as well so you can again play around with this this feature and see how you can leverage this feature now if I come into one of these projects here I can see that I have seven tasks that are associated with this particular project and if I click there on this this actual task uh, with the number on it it will show these different um, items that are associated with this particular project so this is neat I, I do like the capability and what they've brought to the table so far but again it would be really nice if they can enhance this feature and maybe add in a calendar view or you know gallery view and things like that there so that more use cases can be I guess more optimized when you're using them and the the view can kind of fit the purpose 
of the the objects that you're you're setting up and configuring within this particular feature and just like with any other uh, document that you create because that's really what these are these are it looks like they took from a foundational level their documents and then they've added the ability to put fields on them being an obsidian user this is pretty familiar because you can add properties in obsidian to your different notes and get somewhat similar type of feature here but this is a, a document so what you can do is you can come in here and add additional blocks like we have here with this project overview where you can type in some things there you can type in key deliverables and you can put other content within this object that you've created just like it, if it was a document all right so that's pretty much it in a nut nutshell right now this is what they have out just wanted to give a quick overview of what they have and then some feedback on it. Like I said, the feature I think is, uh, is they're going in the right direction. There are some additional things that they can do to enhance the feature itself by adding in different views and additional templates maybe. And also allow for the filtering to be a little bit more robust as well by adding in some of those default fills or properties that are on the document. So I'm pretty sure there's more to come on this one here. It's been out for a little bit now, but we'll see how long they keep it in beta. I think next month they're supposed to actually be going public release of this particular feature, release it to the public so that more people get access to the uh, the object's capability. Oh, an another thing to note too is that right now you can only see this objects on the desktop. I need to really see this on the mobile applications to also get more functionality out of this. So I haven't used this as much. You know, I kind of came in here just to do a couple of use cases, but because I can't use this on the go on my mobile phone or my tablet, it really, you know, detracts from me wanting to kind of go full bore into setting up these objects because I, I work a lot on my mobile uh, devices. So if you work on your mobile devices a lot right now, know that the objects, while it's in beta, is not available on the, the web or on the mobile application. Hopefully in the future, hopefully sometime soon, they will, you know, open this up and put it on to the mobile devices and also on the web and kind of bring some more features and functionality to this product. So it really enhances what Craft can do and give to its consumers. Now, with that said, that's it for this video. If you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have a nice day.